Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie Vio where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So if you are one of my subscribers, you'll know that the majority of my tutorials are me behind the scenes showing you how to navigate websites or use different programs. And I use screen recording or screen capturing software to record my laptop screen as I use my computer. Now, I personally use a paid software called Camtasia to screen record, which I will link you to in the description below. However, if you don't have a budget for software like this, but you still want to record your screen, there are a few different options that are completely free and will render you a video with no watermarks. This is a great way to record videos for your website or recording yourself playing games, designing something online, creating tutorials for YouTube, and so forth. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to become a work from home freelancer. First, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in screen recorder in Windows 10. If you don't have Windows 10, just skip to the next chapter of this video to see how to screen record using a free software for any version of Windows. Okay, so first open up the application that you want to record, whether that be a program, an application, or your internet browser. You must open up what you want to record first, and you can't record multiple programs and browsers at the same time. So let's say I want to record a tutorial using Adobe Illustrator. I'll open up Illustrator, and now I'm ready to start recording. There are two ways you can open up the built-in screen recorder. You can type Xbox Game Bar on the search bar to open up the Game Bar app. Now, you do not need Xbox to use this feature. The built-in screen recorder was designed to record games while you play in your computer, but you can use this screen recorder to record almost anything else. Alternatively, press the Windows key on your keyboard plus G at the same time to open up the game bar. So if you get prompted and asked if you want to open the game bar, select yes, this is a game. From here, you want to locate the capture box to record. If this doesn't appear, you can click the capture icon at the top to open it up again. You can also record your audio by enabling the microphone button under the capture box and select your microphone from the voice tab under audio. And this way you'll be able to record yourself as you're playing your video game or record yourself as you're doing a tutorial. To start recording, just press the record button here. To get rid of the game bar windows, just click onto your screen. The screen will start recording and this recording bar will be hidden in the final output file. When you're finished recording, just press the stop button. Now press the Windows key plus G again, or go back to the Xbox game bar, and click on show all captures. Then go to open file location. Alternatively, you can locate the file yourself from the file explorer. And you can see that our screen recording is located under video captures. Now let's click on our recording, and you can see that we have an excellent quality screen recording ready to upload or edit. If you want to know how to video edit, I have several different tutorials for video editing for beginners that you can watch by clicking on the links in the description below. Okay, so now let's look at another free method if you don't have Windows 10 and you want to screen record. We can download VSDC, which is a free video editor that has a built-in screen recording option. You can click on the link in the description below to get this software. Once you launch VSDC, you will be suggested to upgrade to the Pro version, but this is not necessary at all. Just click on the X. Now click on Screen Capture under the Start Project Now section. A dialog box will pop up, and here you can adjust the settings. So first, let's click on Video and Audio Sources. You can decide whether you want to record audio, and if so, select your microphone here and the audio level. Then if we go back to settings, you can adjust the result video format. You can try it with the recommended format to see what the quality is like. Although you'll probably want to make some adjustments so that the export quality is better. Otherwise, you might have a grainy result. I recommend changing the settings to native RGB32 
30 frames per second, so it's higher quality. You can choose the destination path where your video will be saved to, or just leave it as it is by default. Also make note of the hotkeys for pausing and resuming your recordings or ending the recording. You can change these by clicking on the bar and setting your own hotkeys. Now click on Renders and choose Recording Priority under Video Renderer. This will also help make your video higher quality. Then press OK. And now click Start Recording. So now you're ready to begin recording your screen. And unlike with the built-in Windows screen recorder, you can record multiple programs and windows at once with this screen recorder. So you could switch from your internet browser and then switch into a computer program and it will record everything. So this bar will pop up and you'll want to uncheck show panel when you start recording so that only your screen will be recorded. Now remember the hotkeys you need to press to stop your recording. Then press the button with the red circle to start recording. Now once you're done recording, press your hotkey to stop. In my case, I left it at the default of Shift plus F5 on my keyboard. And now it says recording is completed. So now we can go into our file explorer to locate the files we just recorded. And you'll see that they are crystal clear quality now that we've adjusted the settings and with no watermark. You can feel free to use the VSDC editing software to edit these videos because it is completely free, or you can use an easier video editor like Filmora, and I'll link you to tutorials on both of these in the description below. So both of these methods are great ways to record your screen for free without having to purchase expensive software. Once you do have a bigger budget and can afford a high quality screen recording software, I definitely recommend Camtasia which is what I use to screen record all of my videos, as they have a lot of different cursor effects, animations, and annotations that you can use to make a really professional video. If you're interested in Camtasia, click on the link in the description below to try it out, or you can let me know if you would like an in-depth Camtasia tutorial. So screen recording is a great way to make tutorial videos that are easy to follow so you can give demonstrations of how to do any task on your computer, record yourself playing games, or create your own tutorials of how to use various online programs. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel Jennifer Marie Vio for more videos on how to become a work-from-home freelancer. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.